There have only been four quadruple doubles in NBA history. Today, we're taking a look at a rookie who almost became the fifth, and you are never going to believe who it was against. MCW with a capital W. Welcome to the league, big fella. Capture this moment. What is this like for you, Michael? Oh, uh, just an unbelievable moment. Meet Michael Carter Williams, the 11th overall pick in the 2013 NBA draft selected by the Sixers. What NBA player do you compare yourself to? Deron Williams, he's a he's a big point guard, so Rondo, I like his game a lot, so. Ooh. And um, Jason Kidd's a person that, you know, I, I really tried to model my game after. So two of those three guys fill the box score. They don't just get the 14 and eight or the 20 and seven, but they also get five, six rebounds. Yeah. So you feel like you can do that at the pro level? Yes. I'll tell you my biggest fear for you. Is this too early? Is this a year too early for him? How do you feel about that? You know, I'm a competitor. You know, I look at the guys that are that are going into the draft and I'm like, well, if they can go, then then why can't I? You know, I can, I can compete with them any any day of the week. I do have concerns, however, I have to ask you, my young man. 39% shooting from the field, 29% shooting from three-point range, 69% shooting from the free throw line. And I'm thinking if you have struggle with the perimeter shot, you're going to have trouble on the next level until you correct that, sir. Before he entered the NBA draft, I think it's pretty safe to say a lot of scouts and TV personality thought the same thing. They didn't know how well his skills were going to translate to the NBA level, claiming he passes up open shots too much, his three-pointer is terrible, commits too many turnovers, can't get by defenders, okay. Is there actually anything good about this guy at all? His passing ability, high IQ, rebounding, and defense were all strong points. He would put every single one of those things on display during his rookie debut. And what a debut for Michael Carter-Williams. Simply amazing. There have been other players closer to a quadruple double, but never under the same circumstances. Let's think about this for a second. Let's think about the nerves going on for Michael Carter Williams. He's about to play in his first ever NBA game. Scouting reports pointed out a lot of his flaws and to top it all off, he's playing against the reigning NBA champions, LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and the Miami Heat. I'll tell you a valuable lesson that I've learned. People fight harder when they have nothing to lose. The ball was tipped, romping down the floor and slamming. Goes coast to coast and top shelf. This will be the time to jump on the Heat while they're still half step slow from that plane run. Oh, by the way, the Heat got off to a slow start last night before they beat Chicago. That is the understatement of the season. Pause. Wow. Just look at the score right now. 15 to nothing against the defending champion Miami Heat team. Although I have to point out Dwayne Wade was not playing. That doesn't really make it too much less impressive though. Roten, that is for a three. Tony Roten. Absolutely, that's how they get back into certain sorts of games with their defense. Marvelous here, Turner! At the end of the first quarter, we're looking at a score of 33 to 14, but you just knew on some classic 76er stuff that they were gonna blow this lead and LeBron and the Heat were not done by any means. Now at the end of quarter number one, Michael Carter Williams has five points, four steals, four assists, and zero rebounds. Just keep that in mind for quarter number two. Unfortunately, I don't have the entire game at my disposal to work with, so we're jumping back in, and it's 34 to 28. They've almost already given up this lead. He was able to get in there and bang on the boards with Chris Bosh and come away with it. As Bosh misses inside and Roten running the floor. Attack the basket before the Heat defense is set, the better off they'll be. Michael Carter-Williams ostensibly causing the turnover. Anderson gliding inside. And now seven straight for Miami, and it's back to six as Thad Young glides in. He started this game for Dwayne Wade, who is taking the night off. They got this interview with AI going on right here. Who does this man think he is? One of the greatest Sixers players to ever wear the uniform? Come on, get off the screen. We're trying to watch greatness here. So after that clip, the Sixers gave up four straight points, which means we are only up two heading into halftime. Checking up on Michael Carter Williams stats, he's got 11 points, six steals, seven assists, and two rebounds heading into the third quarter. Against the defending champion Miami Heat, you think they're not gonna come out with a vengeance in the second half, try to put you in the dirt? Because that's exactly what happened. The Sixers have to tilt their defense to LeBron James. From beyond 11 of 22, Tony Roten has come in for the first time. Michael Carter-Williams, a smashing <laughs> debut tonight. Bosch and James with 40 of the Heat, 73. Bosch with 10 of his points in the quarter as Spencer Hawes. It's been, you know, documented how 
good a shape these guys came into. Takes the ball away from the King. His seventh steal of the game. That's a three on the way from James nice. Anderson. At the end of three quarters, we're looking at 19 points, seven steals, nine assists, and four rebounds. I mean, this kid from Syracuse is single-handedly keeping the 76ers in this ball game with how many points he's accounting for. Carter Williams back, James Anderson joining him in the backcourt. Still adding to the record, Turner. Oh, and he missed the layup. Um, you know, a push and bump back or a push and pull rotation. Pause for three. Yes! Nearly two minutes remaining in this game. 76ers are down by one point. This is a situation that you dream about, that you imagine in your driveway when you're shooting up hoops late at night. You pretend you're in this situation where you have a chance to take down the NBA champions and maybe even LeBron James. I've done it in the past. I know you guys have too. Chalmers under lock and key. Loose ball. Sixers look to go in front. Carter Williams for Hawes. Yes! Dead. LeBron James. Nice. Strip by Michael Carter Williams. He took it away. Gliding in. Missed it. Anderson on the follow. Ball is loose. Who's got it? What is going on with Evan Turner in this game? Like, please, man. We need you to make these layups. These are essential layups to be made. I know you're a little bit nervous. You're playing the heat. I understand, but we need you, my guy. Come on. He's 100% thinking about LeBron coming in, chase down, blocking him. If I was in a situation, I'll admit it, I would be thinking the same exact thing. So I guess I can't blame him. James for the lead against Hawes. Forced it up. Rebound taken by Michael Carter Williams. Got seven boards. Yeah, man. One of these days, he's going to get a quadruple double. 6'6 six, six frame, getting up on the glass, out rebounding the power forward, Chris Bosch. Adding to that record for an NBA debut. Pictures, even though Dwayne Wade was not in the building, they beat the big three. Smashing <laughs> debut tonight. You know, I felt great. You know, it was the first time really putting a jersey on and, you know, doing something. Great start. I'll see you next time. Uh, the team played great. The, the crowd was awesome. I was excited. So uh, I'm just glad we came up with the win. All right, Derek Rose on this floor Saturday. Uh, I'm ready. Do you want to know what happened when Derrick Rose took the floor that Saturday? Well, I'll tell you. The 76ers started out this season 3-0. Derrick Rose on that Saturday, 8 turnovers, just 13 points on 4 of 14 shooting. Michael Carter Williams in that game, 26 points, 4 turnovers, 10 assists, 4 rebounds, and 3 steals to go along with it. I mean, this rookie looked like he had everything going for him. I would love nothing more right now than to tell you the fairy tale ending that you are looking for, that Michael Carter Williams has gone on to have an amazing career, maybe Hall of Fame caliber player in the future, and that would be the biggest load of baloney that I could ever serve you on a sandwich. It has went the complete opposite direction for him. Honestly, a lot of people think that this first game was his peak of his entire NBA career, which is extremely sad to say. And the 76ers on that season went 16 and 66. We just talked a second ago about how they started out the season 3 and 0. They only won 13 games for the rest of the season. But I guess one good thing about this is that at least Michael Carter Williams won the Rookie of the Year award. At this point in time, I'm 26 years old. I have not been alive for a single quadruple double to witness one yet. Will I ever? Do you guys think there's ever going to be another quadruple double in the NBA during our lifetime?